fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals throughout the early western United States. No one could match his strength and courage, his daring or resourcefulness. But it was his ability to judge character and his sense of fair play that made him the greatest champion of justice the West ever knew. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver, the Lone Ranger. Rides again. Come on, Silver! We're on the trail of outlaws! Arrow Silver! Hawaii! Three men stood in the living room of a small ranch house. One, Sheriff Sim Wheaton, was a grizzled veteran of the law. The second... Short, stout, and red-faced, was a local banker, Gabe McMasters. The third man was in his thirties. His name was Dan Marlin, and until this morning, the ranch and the ranch house had belonged to him. All right, Sheriff. What do I do? Uh, just sign these papers where I got a mark, Dan. I wasn't then talking I... to you, Gabe. I just you can just to... keep that fat mouth of yours shut. When I hanker to make conversation with a polecat, I'll go root one out from under the barn. I asked you a question, Sheriff. What do I do? The sign where them crosses are. Why? Just makes everything legal, Dan. It shows you're turning your place over to Gabe Willen. Yeah, but I ain't. What choice you got? <laughs> uh, from the way this here polecat's roped and throwed me, none at all. But just the same, I don't want nobody to think I ain't got objections to letting them steal my ranch. I don't want... Sheriff! I object to that, Sheriff. He's the same as calling me a thief. <laughs> You've been called it afore. Don't see why you should be so touchy about it now. Nope, Dan. You don't savvy. I didn't mean these papers would show you was glad to lose your place exactly. They're just to fix it so as after Gabe's foreclosed, you can come back right after and try to claim it again by paying up what you owed him. Pay what I really own? Or what he says I do? No, you uh, don't care. We ain't going into all that again. Now cut it out. Maybe you just borrowed what you say you did, Dan. But all the records go to show you borrowed what Gabe says you did. Ah, uh, the sneaking crook. Forging them notes. Oh, stop it. Well, he did. I'll tell it so any time, anywhere as I please. <laughs> All right, do what you want. But first, sign them papers. Uh, might as well, I reckon. No chance of me raising the cash to get the place back. Here's a pen. I brought mine along. Get it out of my sight before I shove it down your throat and make you swallow it. I'll use my own. Uh, Sheriff, push them papers over this way. Mm, here you are. And the ink. Yeah. Well, here goes. Here goes 20 years' hard work and the sweetest piece of rangeland any man ever had. Uh, here, too? That's right. Uh, uh, 
That's it. Put them papers in your pocket, Sheriff, and then let me ask you one question. Anything, Dan. We've always been friends. Shoot. Just exactly when does this place quit being mine and start being this critter's? Why... Tomorrow uh... noon, I take over this ranch, and if you ain't off it then, I'll have you jailed. Tomorrow noon? And it's mine up till then? Uh-huh. That's all I wanted to know. Hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> you... Oh! Look on me! Look on me! Yeah. Sheriff, make him stop! Uh, out you go! Get! Oh! Uh, oh! Now get oh. up and make tracks, Gabe! You're trespassing on my property. Oh. <laughs> oh, Sheriff, arrest him. Arrest him. He kicked me off the porch. He kicked me. You jail him, Sheriff. <laughs> Shucks, Gabe. I can't jail a fellow for acting within his rights. What? The law can't stop a fellow from throwing who he wants off his own place. And you said yourself this was Dan's till tomorrow. <laughs> Come on. Climb in your buggy and let's go home. two horsemen rode toward the Marlin Ranch. They held their mounts to a slow trot, and when they neared the ranch house... He's got a lamp burning, Whitey. Dan's still up. Yeah. Who? Oh, Who, oh boy? Who, oh, yeah. Who? Oh. I'll do the talking, Sig. You stay with the horses and keep watch. Uh-huh. Anybody comes along, yell. Sure. But if you find that mast, hombre, the engine trail this, you start shooting. Right. Be right back. Open up. We had you back again, Gabe. You better put a board in your britches. So this time I'll... Well, I'll be... Whitey Barrett. There's a holdup. Come on in. Help yourself. Take anything you please. You won't be robbing me. You'll be robbing the banker. <laughs> yeah. That's what I heard. I reckon this ain't a holdup, though. Or you wouldn't have took the trouble to knock. What is it? What brought you down out of the hills? Got any objection if I have a little talk? No, I ain't proud. What's on your mind? Me and Sig heard you got a pretty raw deal. I've heard tell of fellas that got better. Sit down. Uh, pretty nice place you had here, Dan. The bank would give you a chance to hang on for rice and beef. You'd have been sitting pretty. Nice of you to figure it out for me. <laughs> oh, that's all right. What you planning on next? What you gonna do when you leave here? <laughs> What's a fella usually do when he's my age and loses everything he had? Goes to work for the gent that's got it and likes it, I reckon. Some do. What do you mean? But them that got the gumption to get even don't. Whitey, just what are you getting at? I'm wondering if you're the kind that gets kicked around and takes it. Huh? Or if you've got the nerve to kick back. Meaning? That either you can go to work for 30 a month and found when you can get it. Or you can throw in with a couple of square shooting hombres like me and Sig. And let the other fellas do the work while you spend it. So that's your game. <laughs> well, why not? We can use you. You're handy with your irons. And there's plenty of jobs where just two fellas ain't enough. You want me to turn outlaw? Better man than you have. Whitey, I ought to... Well, don't go on. Why not? <laughs> Dan Marlin riding the owl hoot trail. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Shake, Whitey. You've got your part. The following morning, the Lone Ranger returned to his camp after a scouting trip. Come on, old fellow. Hi, Kimosabe. Hi. Oh, hold there, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh. Fellow, call Scout and saddle up. Ah. Here, Scout. I picked up Whitey and Sig's trail again. This time, they're not going to give us the slip. Huh? Where? Where find them? I cut this sign just east of the creek and followed it to Dan Marlin's place. Uh -huh. No one's there, and I had a chance to look around. They must have been there for quite a while last night. Then they headed back for the hills. We go there? Yes. But tell them. Uh, what matter? Reading their sign, there was one thing I couldn't understand. What that? Just the two of them rode to Dan's place. Uh -huh. The three horsemen rode away. Who was there, fella? That's exactly what I'd like to know. A fellow named Dan? It looked as if it must have been him. Uh -huh. But there was nothing to show he'd been taken away by force. Uh -huh. And if he went with them willingly, I'd like an explanation. I've certainly never heard that Dan's friendly with crooks. Saddle fixed. Ready? Uh -huh. 
Be ready. Then let's go. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Hurry, old boy. Hurry. The famous masked rider of justice and his faithful Indian companion picked up the trail once more and headed for the hills. Meanwhile, Dan had made himself at home in the outlaw's hideout. It was toward noon that Whitey called to Sig and... Hey, Sig. Yeah, Whitey? Better throw some dirt on that fire. It'll be hitting the saddle before long. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you like it here, Dan? Pretty snug hideout, huh? Ain't bad. What's this about riding? Going somewhere? Yeah, the three of us. Huh? <laughs> we ain't the ones to waste time, Dan. You'll be finding that out. We got a job already picked. Fact is, we've had our eye on it for quite a spell. Couldn't touch it, though, till we had a third fella. What is it? <laughs> One you ain't going to object to at all. Yeah? The bank in town. Dave McMaster's place. We're busting it wide open. What's that? Sure. But we'll ride out of town with our saddlebags full of more cash than we can spend in a year. Well, just a second. <laughs> How's the sound to you, Dan? All right, eh? <laughs> Gabe gets into you for about 10000 You turn right around and help yourself to twice as much. <laughs> well, I, I thought all you fellas done was rustle some cattle. Did, mostly. That's penny ante stuff. Now we'll go for the big money. Hey, but listen, fellas, you can't rob the bank. Why not? What you got again, it, huh? We asked you to join up because we figured you were just the army who'd be glad to take on a job like that. Gabe's a crook. What happens to him, I sure don't care. Then what do you but mean? But that ain't what I'm thinking of. Don't you fellas savvy that if the bank's robbed, Gabe wouldn't be the only one to lose by it? No. Gosh, every ranch in the county's tied in so close to that there bank. If it went bust, they'd go bust right along with it. What's that to us? Well, most of the fellas that'd lose are my friends. Ain't turning yellow, are you? Nobody's ever called me yellow in my life. That ain't the point. I'll turn out law, sure. But I ain't never gonna harm nobody that I've worked with and et with and liked. That's out. Go bring the horses here, Sig. They're saddled. Dan's too? Sure. He'll come around. He'd better. Now, look, Whitey, there's plenty of other ways to get some cash. Didn't you savvy when you joined up that I was boss? Go ahead and be boss. When a fellow's you... boss, his orders usually go. But this is different. You're getting on that coyote of yours. You're riding with us to town. When we get there, you're helping us rob Gabe's bank. I tell and you... And if you figure you ain't, say so now and we'll know where we stand. That's a good idea. I always did like to have my cards laying out plain on the table. Whitey, I'm not helping you. But that's only the half of it. Yeah? You and Sig ain't going either. You bust my friends and I'll bust you. All right, you ask for it, mister. Take your hand. You can't... Sig, just... blast the skunk down. Take it. <laughs> Sig, into the saddle. We gotta get out of here. Get up. Get, get up, up here, fella. Get up, get up, get up. The outlaws raced out of camp. But less than half a mile away, the Lone Ranger and Tonto had heard the volley of shots that marked the gunfight. They reined in at the top of a rise. Then, Tonto, those shots came from beyond that wood. Ah. Come on. Get him up, Scott. Ah. Silver, hoy! At the command of his master, the great horse Silver leaped forward. Scout followed hard behind. And together, they charged toward the woods. Not even the narrow, broken trail through the trees could slow their speed. In less than a minute, they flashed to the open once more. The outlaw camp with the body of Dan Marlin lying beside the campfire lay before them. Oh, oh, there's Silver. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, 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 Whoever was here, Tonto, they've gone. Uh, there. There, fella. What? Dan Marlin. Huh? Him, him, him shot. More of Whitey's work. Uh, if ever a man deserves to hang, he does, and his partner with him. Fella, Dan? Uh, just a moment. Tonto, I think there's life left in him. Ah. Uh. But if he'll live, I don't know. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto worked over the wounded man, stripping his shirt away, washing his wounds and binding them. Finally, Dan's eyes opened. He groaned and tried to get up. Oh, why do you dirty sneaking... Oh, who... you're masked. Easy, man, easy. Oh. Lie back, rest. You're in pretty bad shape. Yeah, I... No, I can't. Hey, let me up. Get my horse. Let me up. I got to ride. Take it easy, Dan. Take it easy. I can't. I got to stop. Let me up. Please. Please, masked man. Let me up. Wait. Who is this you've got to stop? Whitey and Sig. They're going to rob the bank. They're on the way there now. My horse. McMaster's bank? Yeah. Then leave that to Tonto and me. We'll handle it. Oh, I can't. Dan, I don't know why you're here. I don't know why you fought with Whitey and Sig and were shot. But I do know this. You're in no condition to ride, and we'll not let you. Oh, you don't savvy. No. Oh, I guess I must have been loco. I was going to turn crooked. But but then... Then what? Oh, I don't know. When they said they was going to hold up the bank, and I got to thinking of all my friends that would go bust, I, I just couldn't go through with it. I see. I told them I couldn't. I tried to stop them. But they just blasted me down. I reckon when they pulled out, they figured I was dead. Uh, Dan, I don't believe you're crooked at heart. Oh, it was just that for a while there. I was so doggone mad. I know. A banker cheating me, losing my place, everything I had, everything I'd worked for. But now? Oh, I'm sorry for it. I reckon I've been paid for it already. You're going to pull through this, you know. Well, takes a heap to down a marlin. I've got an idea. I'm going to be able to help you. Tonto, uh -huh. I'm riding to town alone. You'll stay here with Dan. Someone's got to look after him. Uh, what you do? Whitey and Sig have a head start, but Silver should be able to overtake them easily. If I want him to... What you mean? Mister, what are you scheming? There's no time to explain now. Here, Silver. But you'll have a part to play in this, Dan. And when I come back, I'll tell you just what it is. Yep. You, you go where there's danger? Don't worry about me, old friend. But you I'll can't... I'll be safe enough. Take care of Dan until I return. When I do, there'll be action enough for all of us. Come on, Silver. Come on, old fellow. Come on. <laughs> When Whitey and Sig reached town, they found the main street deserted. The blazing heat of early afternoon had driven nearly all the townspeople to the shelter of their homes. But the door of the bank was open, and from the street the outlaws could see there were only a few customers inside. They congratulated themselves. They rode around to the back of the building. Then... Whitey, hadn't we better Shut go... Up. Talk low. Who's going to hear us? Ain't no wind here in the bank here in bank. But why take chances? Now, Sig, you listen to me. Huh? We leave the horse's ground hitch for a quick getaway. Yeah. Ain't nobody much on the street out front. Back door's all is kept locked, so that's the way we'll have to go in. We'll start in just a second. Keep close behind me and climb the porch and get inside quick as you can. Less time we take, less we're likely to be noticed. Right. Inside, I'll keep them covered while you gather up the cash. Now, most of it's in the safe, but during the day it stands open. As soon as you've got everything, unlock the back door, because that's the way we're going out. It'll bring us right back here to our horses. Uh -huh. Got all that straight? Sure. Then see you don't make no mistake. Ought to be three of us on this job, but it can't be helped. Come on. Don't see nobody in the street close in the blacksmith shop. All right, now. Up the porch. Inside, hurry. Now, get your guns out. Right. This is the hold up, folks. Make a move and I'll blast you. The men and women in the bank backed away from Whitey's guns. Sig forced the cashier to hand over all the money in his cage. A moment later, he had cleaned out the safe and then... Got the cash, Sig? All set. Then unlock that door. Into the saddle. The young fellow over already. Come on. Head west, Whitey. Get up. Get on there. Get up. 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 $40,000. Get after him, Sheriff. Get after him. All right, folks. We'll ride in the posse. I will. Then get your horses and follow me. If they get clean away, the whole town's bust. Jump, you high binders. Let's get going. All right. All right. Hey, Whitey. What's 
What's the matter? Pull up. Pull up where them rocks are. Give the horses a chance to get their wind and see if we're falling. Right. Oh, oh boy. Pull oh, there. Oh, 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 there. Oh, 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 oh boy. Don't, don't see him yet. Got too good a start on them. But they'll be along. How's your horse standing up? Good. This one here will run for sundown. Any idea how much cash you picked up, Sig? <laughs> I'll show you. Stuffed it all. Paper money, gold and silver in this year bag. Yeah. How's that look to you? <laughs> that you. looks fine. What in... A mass man. I've been waiting here for you. If you hadn't pulled up, I'd have stopped you. Why? No, you don't. <laughs> Steady, Wendy. Or you'll get the same. Who are you? Try and find out. Hey, the cash. He's leaving with me. Thanks for getting it for me. Hey, no. Hold on. Now don't follow. Come on, Silver. Hey, come hey, back here with that money. money. Hey. Shoot him. Hey. Drill him yourself. He knocked my gun out of my hand. Crowd, get the skunk. I've even come close. Climb down off that horse and pick up your gun. <clears throat> what will we do? No, we're going to get that cash back. Hey, look towards town. What? A posse. Come on, lay leather to that critter. We got to travel. Get up. Get up there. Come get on. Here. The outlaws raced after the masked man and away from the posse in the distance. But from the touch on his reins, Silver knew that this was not a time to show his greatest speed. For some reason, his master did not want to outdistance a pursuit. They're still keeping us in sight, old boy. Not too fast now. Up this rise and over it, old boy. Come on, Silver, come on. Hail Silver, away! On they raced. The Lone Ranger, the outlaws, the posse, higher and higher into the hills. The distance between them remaining always the same. Whitey and Sig could see the masked man every moment. The posse often lost sight of the bank robbers. They could make no effort to hide their trail. And the sheriff urged his men on. They haven't got away yet. Keep riding, men. Remember that reward the banker offered. Meanwhile, Dan and Tonto had been waiting for the masked man in the outlaw's camp. One hour, two hours. Then, faintly in the distance, they heard a clear call. Tonto, you hear that? Uh, me hear it. The masked man. Uh, him ride, he passed. Just look at him come. That horse would make lightning look slow in molasses. Tonto, help me up, huh? Help me set up. You stay still. But thunder racing. You know what Tonto say. But I want to know what's happened. Masked man come, him tell you. Oh, darn it. Hey, masked man! Aye. You stopped them crooks from robbing the bank? Did you, masked man? Did you? Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh. No. You didn't? Oh, blast it all. I was. But I did better. Here. That bag contains the money they stole. Huh? I told you I could catch them if I wanted to, but I didn't. I let them rob the bank. And when they'd taken the money, I took it from them. You rotten crook. Hold on, Dan. You misunderstood me. I thought you were Keep on a... still. Listen to me. And do your thinking afterwards. What? Tonto, uh-huh. can those bandages be taken off Dan safely? Will it harm him if we do? Can we make it look as if he'd just gotten those wounds? Uh, Tonto fixed it. Yeah, what's going on? Whitey and Sig aren't far behind me. No? I let them keep me in sight. They'll try to get this money back. I don't savvy. A posse's coming behind them. Yeah? We'll wait here for Sig and Whitey. They'll ride into our guns. You'll do exactly as I say. And when the posse arrives, it'll meet with a surprise. <laughs> With only one thought in their minds, the recovery of the stolen money, Whitey and Sig rode straight into the Lone Ranger's trap. Get up there. Get up there. The masked man went through there. That's near our old hideout. Then we got him. We know these hills inside out. Get up there. Get up there. there. Keep your eyes peeled. I will... There he is. Where'd them shots come from? Hey, hey look. The rescue. And the masked man's turning back. What the shit? Damn shot. Sig, it's a trap. Let him have it. We've got to fight our way out. The sheriff and his posse were nearing the wood that concealed the camp when the outlaws started to shoot it out. The roar of gunfire put fresh heart into the men and... There's shooting going on ahead. Them fellas must have run into trouble. It's the end them wood. Get them move on, boys. Maybe we got them. Get them, boy. Get them, boy. Get them, boy. Get them. Hey, sheriff. What? The shooting stopped. So it has. Get them. Get along, fella. Get along. I'll see them in a second. The bank cleared out again. As soon as we get past these trees... 
Well, I'll... Hey, fellas, look there. It's Dan Marlin. He's holding a gun on Sig and Whitey. It was him stopped them crooks. Yeah. Hold them, Dan. We'll be there in a second. Yeah. Get a boy. Yeah. Come on. Get a boy. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Here's your prisoner, Sheriff. And here's James Cash. Take them both and welcome. My gosh, fella, did they shoot you up like that? Yep. Hey, this is a trick. There was a masked man. And a ranch kid. Well, they trapped us. Then left Dan to hold us here till you fellas hey, showed up. Hey, quit both of you trying to talk to us. So you are raised claim two other gents caught you, huh? That's right. These two fellas, knowing you as bank robbers, and knowing there'd likely be a reward for you, caught you, then just rode off, huh? Well, listen, <laughs> Sheriff. You, you hombres can stop wasting your breath. That's too thin. There's too much evidence again it. Here's Dan all shot up, and you fellas stand with your hands in the air, and the cash laying there on the ground. <laughs> nope, that story don't go down. Hey, hey, shut up! We... Dan, you done a swell job. <laughs> Thanks, Sheriff. Even though it ain't true. Shucks, you're just being modest. You done more than a swell job, Dan. You turned around and helped Gabe here. The hombre that was going to take over everything you own. Going to? <laughs> I think he'll change his mind. How much you say it was you really owed him? One thousand dollars. Not a penny more or less. Now, Sheriff, you look here. Yeah, I just can't a second. Take... But I can't. I tell you what you're going to do. You're going to let Dan have back his ranch. When you've done that, you're going to give him time to pay what you got coming. No, I won't. It ain't fair. I haven't Boys, got... you hear that? You hear what Gabe says? Dan almost gets killed saving his money and yours, and the banker don't seem to appreciate it. What's that? What's that? No, fellas, wait. Wait just one second. Well? Boys, I... When the sheriff said that about giving Dan back his ranch just now, I... Well, that is, uh... He took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>